Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. My name is Randall. I look after the marketing and management program in the international program at uh, the College of Management, Mahidon University. And um, CMMU are members of the uh, American Chamber of Commerce. We were invited to attend this video conference, which I attended, and so I put together a summary to share with um, anyone who might have interest. The session was held on April 10th of 2020, and it's about marketing in the time of COVID-19. The American Chamber of Commerce put this together, and um, they had the moderator, the MD from Philip Morris, and then they had several panelists. Uh, you can see some of the sponsors. And then they had over 70 different members join online. So they had a panelist from Philip Morris, from AmCham, from Procter & Gamble, the Keenan Foundation, and also Lexicon Business Communications. Some of the discussion was about consumer behavior and changes to consumer behavior. And most of the focus was on the do's and don'ts that they wanted to share during this crisis. So in terms of the do nots, this was the biggest. Do not be seen as trying to take advantage of the situation. People are especially sensitive at this time. And um, you, this would really give you a kind of negative impact, which could last for a long time. Do not try to focus on sales. Do not try to link your brand or the benefit of your brand directly to COVID-19. Um, Procter, Procter & Gamble, for example, said they make a lot of cleaning products. And yes, they do try to talk about the benefits, but they don't try to link it directly to the virus or the crisis. This is true always, um, but don't go out of character of your brand. You always have to maintain consistency. So if your brand or your company happens to be in the wellness industry, then talking and giving tips about that makes sense. If like P&G wants to give tips about cleaning, that makes sense. But if it's not linked to your company, it might not make sense for you to try to offer tips or communications that don't match. Right now, there's a lot of communication coming in all the time. Amcham raised the example recently of the um, changes to renewing the visa. You know, a lot of tourists are stranded and people who work in Thailand have to get renewals. She said that it was very confusing and a lot of people were sharing information that sometimes contradicted. So she said, try to be careful what you share and try not to add to the clutter of the confusion basically be cautious about your source as well. And Procter & Campbell talked about advertising to be cautious about, you know, sort of nuances that we might not really think about, like advertisements with scenes where people are all together in a big group. Um, we're supposed to be practicing social distancing, so try not to show something that goes against that. Another do not um, is that a lot of companies sent out irrelevant messages you know, they're just sort of a feel-good sort of thing, like, we're here for you, which doesn't really have any meaning. You know, the company's still there and we're still their customer, but that didn't really add anything or communicate any, anything for us. And this one's kind of serious. You know, a lot of companies are coming out and they're talking about what they're doing for the customers and how they're trying to help. And they sometimes blatantly do not mention their own employees, which kind of raises some, some negative questions like are you taking care of them or you've dropped them they're unemployed now or, or what so don't forget to be a little bit holistic and, and also think about the well-being of the stakeholders inside not just on the outside in terms of trying to raise money like fundraising uh, they said again it, it depends on whether it's a good match to your company a lot of people have been or become cautious about online donation scams so they, they said kind of a dangerous issue but if you do try to raise money be transparent and follow through and show people what you actually did with the money that was raised so in terms of the dues um, this is always true for marketing but right now people are really hungry for information and things are changing all the time so they said be agile be quick uh, be timely with relevant communications right message right time but relevance is the important part 
you know, what is it that people are looking for? What are you trying to offer for them? Try to add value. Overall, be sincere. You know, try to be trustworthy. You're trying to do good things. They said, do whatever you can to help. Uh, that might include donations. It might be corporate social responsibility activities. Uh, thanking frontline caregivers is nice. Um, they said it's really expected now that people are helping to sanitize. Um, yeah, it's just a given. It's possible a company might consider discounts or installment payments or you know, reducing the interest because a lot of people have got time off or even lost their jobs. Their finance, you know, financial burdens are serious. So we have to give it some thought. Again, might depend on what type of company, but for say restaurants and, and online shopping, sometimes they're offering free delivery. That's really small. And overall, you know, in a time of crisis, it's a, it's a good opportunity to strengthen your relationships both inside and outside the community. So in terms of being sincere and trustworthy and relevant for the consumer, good, important, but also internally, you know, with the employees, how you're taking care of them. Um, internally, you might not have talk about it outside, but you might be trying to help raise funds. Procter & Gamble mentioned this, um, trying to help raise money for contractors and daily workers who've lost their income. In terms of new trends, this is really accelerating the uh, tech requirements. You know, people are online, they're learning how to use technology, we're learning how to use uh, online meetings and online teaching, people are shopping online more, they're consuming a lot more online, um, not just shopping online, but consuming media online, you know, consuming entertainment, watching TV, listening to whatever, a lot more use of social media. And in terms of some projections, you know, they're not expecting that people will no longer work in an office. This is not going to be forever, but maybe it's going to become a kind of hybrid system. So we have our office time and we have our scheduled face-to-face -face meetings, but we may also use online updates. It is a very unstable situation. Things are changing really quickly. Uh, a lot of people have kind of shut down, if not slowed down. Oh, so gone dark, so to speak. And everyone's in this together. Everyone's facing the same situation. So it's you know it's a matter of choice. Nobody's criticizing people for slowing down or becoming quiet. But the irony, you know, the backside of that is that people are speaking less. They're they're conducting fewer marketing activities, and yet there's a lot more people online. You know, listening, kind of hungry, trying to get more information. So be careful. You know, be careful not to abuse this time. Looking opportunistic. Consumer behavior, very important. Um, back to my own roots of market research. Some companies are using you know, monitoring of social media, what people are talking about, how they feel. But at the end of the day, we need to understand the consumer and what they want. We need to be relevant to them. Um, for example, again, people are looking for information. So if your business is relevant to that, then give them tips about health or about hygiene, how to clean more efficiently. Um, provide them with the information they're looking for. If it's about entertainment, help provide them with the entertainment. So trying to be sincere and be relevant, I'd say that's always true, but maybe even more true during this time. So maybe not groundbreaking or anything particularly new, but all good food for thought for us. Um, definitely an important do. Stay safe, everyone. And many thanks to AmCham and to the um, panelists and the moderator. And uh, that's all. I just wanted to share the meeting with you. Thanks, everyone.